Hi, I'm Brewmaster Martin Dickey. And I am Mr. Wolf. You're a what? Wolf. You're not a wolf. You are a wolf. I told you. We'd like to tell you the story about how this beer came to be. What you're about to see may disturb you. If you are easily offended, we, we, we don't care. last left our Scottish heroes in fine spirits after they struck a mortal blow to the sausage munchers by sinking the mighty Bismarck. Shockingly, the Germans immediately retaliated with an even stronger beer. Brewmaster Martin sought out the advice of his most trusted mentor, Mr. Stoat, well known to be the wisest of all the woodland animals. Unbeknownst to Martin, those dirty sausage munchers were lying in wait, about to hatch another of their dastardly plans. I fared him with my freezing verse, you turtle. Oh, After witnessing the insidious and cowardly assassination of Mr. Stoat, his fellow woodland creatures came out of hiding to comfort Brewmaster Martin in his time of need. Greetings, animals of the forest. Together, they decided to avenge their fallen friend by brewing a beer so strong it would once and for all put an end to this battle of the brews. Now, let's go brew some hardcore beer, you furry sons of bitches. This is a flan Belgian ale infused with nettles, juniper berries, and made by creatures from the forest. This is as far away from a generic, mass-produced, fizzy yellow lager as is possible to get. This is a 50% beer. This is the strongest beer ever made by a human, penguin, German, or forest animals. As a final gesture to their fallen friend, the boys at Brewdog had the beer immortalized in the body of the martyred Mr. Stoat. This is beer meets art. This is designed to push the boundary and to upset conventional wisdom. Fukuyama defined Western democracy as the end point in the evolution of politics. This is the end point in the evolution of beer. The end of history. The death of beer. The death of a stoat. No, the stoat was dead. Natural causes. Germans. Martin will never forget when Mr. Stoat saved his life. I've actually taken on his wife and his kids. Yeah. How's that working out? Mm, she's a bit of a diva. The kids are cute. 